Hola, me llamo Dora. How are you? Are you guys excited to see my protein? <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh no, it's Swiper coming to steal my proteins. Everyone say it with me. Swiper no swiping. Swiper no swiping. Swiper no swiping. I have your proteins now. <laughs> Dora, how are we going to get more proteins? I know, we can go to the endoplasmic reticulum. Do you know where the endoplasmic reticulum is? <laughs> no. <laughs> Who do we ask when we don't know where to go? The map! The map! If there's a place you gotta go, I'm the one you need to know on the map! Okay, so Dora tells me you guys need to get to the endoplasmic reticulum. Well, you have to go through the cytoplasm, past the mitochondria, and there's the endoplasmic reticulum. Good luck, guys! Do you guys see the cytoplasm? There it is! <laughs> Where is your destination? To the endoplasmic reticulum. So be it. But first, you have to answer my riddle. Oh, no! A riddle! <laughs> OK, this riddle has many parts, and not a lot of people are able to get past it. OK, so what is the primary function of the endoplasmic reticulum? What makes up the endoplasmic reticulum, and what are they called? Um, what are the two types of endoplasmic reticulum? And what determines how much endoplasmic reticulum is in a cell? Wow, that's a lot to answer. Well, first off, the endoplasmic reticulum is made of membranous tubes and sacs, and they're called... A Sister knife! And the primary function of the endoplasmic reticulum is to be an intracellular highway that transports molecules <laughs> from one part of the cell to another. The cell's activity determines the amount of endoplasmic reticulum in a cell, and the two kinds of endoplasmic reticulum are smooth and rough. Wow, it's amazing. No one's ever able to get that. You guys are free to go. Hooray! <laughs> All right, let's review. We went through the sticky cytoplasm, so that means we have to go past the angry mitochondria. Those mitochondria scare me, Dora. Do you see the mitochondria? There it is! <laughs> Excuse me, mitochondria. May we pass through? Well, you gotta answer my question. Not more questions. Sorry, guys. This is a two-part question, okay? So listen closely. Now, the endoplasmic reticulum has two parts. Name what each part creates and give me an example in the body. All right. So the rough endoplasmic reticulum makes phospholipids and proteins. Proteins are exported from the cell, and some are even stored in the cell membrane. The rough endoplasmic reticulum also has ribosomes, which sometimes are able to make digestive enzymes. Therefore, uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum is able to be found in digestive glands and in anti-producing cells, anti-body-producing cells. Those are places that export proteins. On the other hand, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum produces lipids such as cholesterol. In the heart and muscle cells, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum releases calcium, which stimulates contraction. It is also abundant in the liver, where it detoxifies drugs and poison. Wow, good job, guys. You're free to go. You, you answered what I wanted and more. <laughs> OK, let's review again. We went through the sticky cytoplasm, past the angry mitochondria, and now we get to go to the endoplasmic reticulum. <sighs> Dora, there it is. I see the endoplasmic reticulum. Wait. Don't forget, we need to go to the rough endoplasmic reticulum because that's where the proteins are produced. Well, here you go, Dora. Don't let Swiper take it from you this time. Be very careful with it. I will. Dora, I am so glad we got the proteins back. Thanks, you guys, for helping us find our proteins back. Hasta luego! Adios! Bye! Bye.